Uh, so hey everyone, it's Simon from Frenzu here. Um, this is actually my very first uh, kind of animated tutorial, <laughs> so we're going to see how it goes. Um, what I'm going to do is do a quick uh, tutorial to teach you how to get an animation uh, from Blender into Frenzu.com. Uh, and it's going to be a very simple bouncy cube one. Uh, I'm actually putting this one together for Skittles. I know she's been having a lot of tough time uh, getting it going, so hopefully this works for you. Um, so here we've got the standard kind of default cube uh, as usual. I'm just going to switch to the front mode. And let's go and split the, uh, split the screen. Um, right click, split area. And let's go and adjust it. Okay, so on the right hand side what we're going to do is change it to uh, a mode called NLA. I actually have no idea what it stands for, but basically it's the kind of timeline for animation. And you can see the 10, 20, the frame points and so forth. So we're starting here at the first frame. What we're going to do on the left is go and click uh, I. I is for uh, inserting an animation frame or key there. So what we're going to do here is this location, rotation, scale. We're going to just choose location. So click location. And then we're going to go to frame number 10 on the right hand side. And you'll notice that it added a little yellow uh, uh, diamond there. Uh, which shows that it's added the uh, the uh, frame in fine for the animation. And then let's go and move this uh, cube up. And then let's hit I again and then put uh, location. Cool. So we've got our second diamond there. So it's all going smoothly so far. And then let's do the final frame, which is 20. And let's go to the back to the cube and let's try and restore it back to its uh, original position. Um, roughly around about here, right? Um, and then let's click uh, location. So yeah, so basically that set it up. And what Blender does is it kind of like uh, extrapolates between those those points. So it's one cycle. So on the left, on the right hand side, I'm just moving the left mouse button, dragging it, and you can see the cycle. So it's going backwards and forwards and it should bounce. Okay, so that's kind of it for Blender. Um, now let's go and export it. So the usual kind of thing, um, file, export, um, DAE 1.4, and we're going to call this file test.dae, uh, as usual, and export and close, and fingers crossed it doesn't crash, like it does sometimes. And cool, awesome. So we've got that exported fine. And now what we're going to do is switch back out and let's get the um, conversion happening into the Frenzy format. Okay, where are we? Okay, so we got the... Um, uh, we're in the folder which has the, uh, the converter and, and so forth and the file. And what we do is run the usual um, command that converts it into a furniture item. So DAE converter, the scene type is scene item, uh, the unit scale 0 0.8, and test.dae converted to the EFA Frenzu format. Let's run that, and that's cool. Now what we do is we run uh, the, at different com uh, the same command, but with different parameters. Um, it's the same converter, the same scale. You don't you don't need the scene type item stuff, uh, and we have the same input file. But this time it's just taking out the animation from that file and putting it in a .fob, which is a kind of Frenzu animation format, I think. So we just run that one, and that runs cool. All right, so that's kind of uh, done. And now we go into um, the pro upload section. Here we are here, and my crazy horse. <laughs> and So we just go and put in the EFA as usual, um, loads up the box. And then we can choose where we want to put the animation. We can put it as an avatar spot or as a trigger command. You can kind of choose where you want to um, to put it. I'm just going to put it as the uh, idle animation, so they're the one that's always repeating. So here, just select the FOB file. And then it kind of loads. And then you just update preview. And yeah, we got a crazy white bouncing box and it just will bounce forever so hopefully this was helpful um, give me some feedback um, let me know what you think of this video uh, just leave some comments so I can improve for next time thanks everyone enjoy creating see ya